Hello friends, welcome to the video and you are watching today clinical cases that is today we are going to talk about IVU, IVP that is intravenous urography or pyelography so it's known by both the names now uh, it's uh, just to give you a quick introduction it's basically a dye infused radiograph taken at a certain interval the dye injected uh, act as a radio opaque uh, material which helps us to uh, track the flow of urine uh, in the kidney ureter and bladder region so that we can assess the, uh, the patho uh, anatomy uh, or uh, related pathology clearly so uh, here uh, we have uh, just to give you a quick introduction of kidney anatomy we have here uh, a longitudinal section of kidney uh, here we can see the normal anatomy that is we have renal column botany uh, here we have medullary pyramids as you can see and here we have renal papilla you can see here so it's a tip of uh, medullary pyramids and we have minor calyxes then joining to major calyxes these are minor calyx these are major calyx these are renal sinuses and this is the renal pelvis which often gets obstructed in stone. Now, uh, as uh, today I'm going to present you a case of uh, nephrolithia, so we'll see the radiographs taken and uh, just as give you a, uh, uh, just so that you can become comfortable in interpreting uh, IVU uh, radiographs in future after watching this. Now, here we have uh, a more detailed anatomy of uh, a drainage system, so it's uh, actually a uh, uh, what we said uh, which we can view with naked eye now here we have minor calyxes as we can see the cupping here normal cupping and now uh, I will relate this in a pathological situation where they becomes like this now it is just a, a, a pre uh, request knowledge so that you can understand the hydronephrotic changes at kidney and now uh, this is 90 degree both are directed 90 degree we have uh, 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 we, we can expect the back pressure changes and here at the uh, middle we have simple uh, cupping and uh, where they prevent the back flow so this is you can see uh, the uh, other anatomical regions also and this is in front nebula the, here we have minor calyxes then here we have major calyxes so here we actually have renal pyramids these uh, renal papilla 7 to 9 in each kidney and this is ureteropelvic junction where we have more chances of obstruction of stone. Now going to the next slide. Now this is a plain film of KUB. Okay. Now uh, just to uh, give you a quick uh, demonstration how to just view the uh, associated uh, anatomical regions that this is uh, lumbar vertebra. This is T12 uh, that's how we count L1 L2 L3 L4 L5 then we have sacrum and coccygeal so and here we have psoas lining psoas muscle and now here we have this is ascending colon where we can see the luminal gas and here we have uh, as you can see the kidney region just marking you uh, crudely it's not uh, uh, it may be uh, anatomical little bit uh, deviated but here we find kidneys now uh, in uh, next film we see uh, if we see closely we can see the hydronephrotic changes in the kidney as it as we, when we see normal it's not like that so it's just uh, it's just it's not a IVP just it's a plain film uh, this is a, a proper IVP test done now as we know the cardiac output is uh, 5 liters per minute and 20% is, is diverted to kidney so when we infuse uh, dye so uh, as we can see the dye here now just see it carefully the dye uh, here we are seeing it is radio opaque that's why we are able to track down the kidneys ureters we can see that the uh, assessing is uh, accumulating dye at the uh, perfect rate so it we can see the perfect flow of it 
but here we are unable to see the dial so therefore we can conclude that there is some obstruction in right kidney now after 15 minutes uh, the radiograph is taken now here we see that it has reached to the bladder and here also at up till now he here we have still obstruction we can't see the dye now after 15 minutes we see the obstruction right here obviously the due to the hydronephrotic changes we can see the cupping here just see as i told you about the renal papilla which is responsible for the back uh, due to obstruction that the backflow of urine causes cupping of renal papilla now here we can expect the stone so and here we have normal uh, physiology of kidney now here it is still obstructed so here we can expect the stone we, uh, the pelvis is also dilated we, that is hydronephrosis also evident here hydroureteronephrosis in fact now next slide we are looking at more closely you can see the normal calice system the major calyx the minor calyx and here we are unable to see the normal uh, because we are the dye has not been uh, pushed forward due to obstruction that's why we are just seeing the vedic flexure uh, means gas we are not able to visualize the kidney properly though we can uh, the hydronephrotic changes are evident here in next slide we can see the after 45 of uh, 45 minutes here it up to this that that we have uh, obstruction and here all the ureters and pelvis that is renal pelvis and this is upper part of ureter it is still I don't know false and here we have seen the now you can also uh, see the evident physiology anatomical uh, uh, part of uh, ureteric constriction with the uh, natural ureteric, con uh, ureteric uh, constriction and we have the more chances of stone obstruction are possible so but this is normal but uh, during stone uh, we have, we can see the uh, normal uh, obstruction right there but it is completely normal normal study but here we have left abnormal study uh, giving a due to stone now it is post forwarding we now can see the exactly the cupping of renal papilla it is very classic appearance now here we can see the dye acclimated in urine after voiding so we can see the less amount of urine here as i show you pre voiding showed you before now going to the next slide now the patient was uh, administ administered with the dj stand it is called dj stand that is double j stand and uh, we just to relieve the ureteric obstruction so that the urine uh, may flow is normal now friends uh, this was the basic uh, uh, interpretation of uh, IVP I hope you are now smarter than before in, in, in interpreting the IUV and uh, you are now more knowledgeable about it so this was it and thanks for viewing Goodbye.